to all who enjoy a special kind of motoring. Jaguars have carried it round the world with outstanding success. Now the time has come to introduce an entirely new saloon, the Mark 10, which joins the range of Mark II and E-type models for 1962. Jaguar engineers and designers have been working on this new car for over four years. Month after month, a strange-looking car could be seen leaving the Jaguar works. This was the future Mark 10, unfamiliar in its black disguise on its way to the testing ground. Here it was submitted to ordeal by water to make sure that the body was leak-proof. Ordeal for suspension. Cars have been known to leap right off this track. Ordeal by Pave on the rough stone sets that are still to be found abroad. See how the wheel pounds furiously while the body remains steady. A thousand miles of this treatment is guaranteed to show up any weakness in design or construction. And finally, lap after lap of the high-speed test circuit at more than 100 miles per hour. But these tests were only a beginning. Prototype Mark 10 cars, still in disguise, were flown to the continent, each to do 100,000 grueling miles at high speed in all weathers, over some of the toughest and most difficult roads in Europe. Under the bonnet was an engine that had proved itself on the racing circuits of the world the power unit of the E-Type Jaguar. How would such a high-performance engine developing 265 brake horsepower behave in a five-seater luxury saloon? As the miles flowed past, the answer was faultlessly. a rigorous test for the suspension. For the first time on their big saloon, Jaguar had fitted independent suspension on the rear as well as the front. Jaguar drivers tested this new suspension for thousands of miles over some of the worst conditions to be found anywhere, for it's only by such methods that faults can be found and eliminated before the car is offered to the public, and this is typical of Jaguar's approach to the attaining of the highest possible standards. Throughout this most arduous testing period, which continued by day and night, the cars lived up to their designers' expectations. On again, watched in passing by the local inhabitants, who are unaware that they are watching the testing of a completely new Jaguar. tests complete, engineers and designers satisfied that the Mark 10 has fulfilled their exacting demands in every way, the car sheds its working clothes and makes its public bow. A glance will show the new line, lower, sleeker than its forerunners. Slender windscreen pillars made possible by the monocoque shell construction of enormous strength. The familiar three window lights traditional to Jaguar saloons. The boat, with its 27 cubic feet of space, amply sufficient for long-distance touring. The spare wheel, easily reached without disturbing the luggage. The new styling at the front, with four headlights, providing a range and spread of light, which enables the car's performance to be used at night in complete safety. And under the forward opening bonnet, the XKS-type engine. Six cylinders, twin overhead camshafts, controlled by a four-speed gearbox, with or without overdrive, or fully automatic transmission according to choice. This then is the Mark 10, a superb example of Jaguar craftsmanship, inviting the owner to long, effortless journeys to distant places. The finest car yet to be produced in the Jaguar big saloon tradition. <laughs>